Uh, I'm, I'm not for it in, in any way. Um, I am, I'm a fourth generation union bricklayer, and uh, along with these guys, we're all union bricklayers, and uh, I think uh, we're gonna we're gonna feel it some of the most first out of anybody because uh, it kind of keeps everybody honest. Our union contracts, and uh, we don't lay around and uh, do anything on the job. You know, we get three breaks: ten minute break in the morning, lunch half hour, a ten minute break in the afternoon. And then in between that, we're, we're laying as many units, whether it be brick, block, stone, whatever, as we possibly can. So it, it, you're going to eliminate that. You might eliminate our breaks and say, well, guess what, guys? We're not going to take a break today. That, and that goes for all building trades. As, you know, iron workers, electricians. It, it, it just, it's bad for us. Okay, I think uh, the right to work is really a bad idea for, for not only Michigan, but for any state. Um, unions that were developed to create fair bargaining between a worker and, and the company that for which they work for. Um, and if you take that kind of a situation away, you're, you're really not going to have any decent people working for the companies, and then companies want to be top-notch companies and have good employees working for them. If you take that right, uh, that right away from them to pay them a fair wage and just pay them whatever they want to, uh, the companies want to pay them, then uh, you're, you're not really going to get top-notch people. And, and I think Mr. Snyder doesn't have any kind of a grasp on that, on how important that is being Michigan, being a blue-collar state. Uh, you're going to see a lot of people move out of state because if he this right to work passes.